Okay folks, here's your Venice history lesson for the day as depicted by this building mural along the intercoastal waterway. Give you some details here in a second. Okay, up top there is uh, some of the early settlers. Bertha Palmer on the left. She bought 140,000 acres in the area back around 1910 or 12 or something. John Nolan in the middle, he's a city planner that planned the city of Venice. And Dr. Uh, Fred Alby, he was uh, an early settler here, early land owner. This here depicts the uh, turpentine industry that was here, at least in the 1920s, at uh, the Woodmere uh, sawmill burned in 1927, so that was the end of it. But south of Venice, where uh, waste management is today, was where the mill was. And up in Laurel, just north of town, they did a lot of uh, turpentine uh, farming as well. Just to show you how close I am to the Intercoastal Waterway. This is the Venetian Waterway Park Trail. There's the Venice Avenue Bridge. There's a nice boat. There's a deck boat, looks just like one I used to have. Starcraft, yeah, same, uh, same size, 20 foot, same brand. Mine had a Mercury outboard. Venice Elementary right here. Okay, anyway, back to this. Uh, this is the Kentucky Military Institute. It closed in 1970, but it was here in town. And the Venice Army Air Base uh, was here, uh, built in 42. It was uh, there in use until after World War II. Then it was airport was turned over to the city as a municipal airport. And this depicts the circus that uh, Winter Headquarters that was here in Venice. That's uh, Gunther Gable Williams. He lived here locally over in the Venice Gardens, Jacaranda area. I remember when he passed, he had a big turnout at his funeral. Anyway, uh, the Ringling Brothers Barnum Bailey Circus, uh, Winter Headquarters was in Venice starting in 1960. And I believe they left in the 90s. Uh, they went back to Tampa, which is where they originally came from for their Winter Headquarters. I remember the circus train used to come over the circus bridge to the end of the line and they'd uh, walk all the animals over the, what they call the circus bridge on uh, Business 41 over to their headquarters building, which was a big structure. It's since been demolished. And then there's the passenger train. The last passenger train that came to Venice, I believe was in 71. That seems to be 70, 71 is when a lot of them uh, stopped as far as passenger service. Freight trains still came down uh, to Stottlemyre and Shoemaker to you know the uh, or Wicks Lumber and Jolson Pipe, and of course the circus train, but uh, it was rare. But now the tracks are uh, gone. Now it's a waterway park on the other side of the intercoastal. And then there's the uh, Venice Train Depot on the back side of that train. A depiction of it. It's across the way, actually. It's over there. It was just abandoned and derelict pretty much since 71 when the passengers quit coming here. And uh, it sat abandoned and in decay until probably the 90s, late 90s, I guess, it, maybe even early 2000s when it finally got restored. Now it's a, uh, a city bus transfer station or SCAT, a county uh, bus transfer station. And there's a boat ramp there and everything. It's a nice complex now. And of course your fishing industry here, uh, boating and so forth. All right, so there's your Venice history lesson as depicted by a building mural. All righty then.